my name is Leanne and I'm doing a lower body um, and core workout today. We're, um, we don't need any weight today, it's just going to be a um, body weight workout. So we'll get started with our uh, warm up. Uh, we'll start out with our jumping jacks. If we need a lower intensity for this, we can just go ahead and do our uh, side stepping. We want to get our body nice and warmed up, ready to go for this workout today. Three, two, one. Go ahead and do our um, high knees. We want our knees to get up high. Our chest is nice and tall. We want to be breathing throughout this. We're doing quite a bit of cardio in the beginning just to get our muscles warmed up and ready to go. Get the blood flowing a little bit. If you want to just do a little a march instead, just go ahead and do that as well. Five, four, three, two, and one. We'll go ahead and do our glute kickers. So sideways so you can see. Still breathing, nice and tall. Great job everyone, you can do this. Three, two, and one. So we'll go ahead and do our hamstring um, band leaders. So just kick out, opposite arm, touching opposite foot. warms up our hamstrings. This is our last exercise of our warm-up and then we'll get right into our workout. We're going to start with some standing exercises and then we'll get to our um, on the ground exercises. Three, two, and one. So we'll have our feet shoulder width apart. We're going to be squatting down, not past 90 degrees, and kicking forward. Squat, kick forward. This gets our flexors as well as our, our hamstrings and our quads nice and tall. If we want to increase intensity, we can go ahead and kick out a little higher up. go sideways so you can see from this view. We want our back nice and straight, not curving, and careful of our knees going over our toes. Three, two, and one. Go ahead and do our forward lunges. So we'll lunge forward, then come back to neutral. Careful of our knees as well. Nice and tall chest. We want to be breathing. So we're engaging our, our core muscles to hold us upright. Three, two, and one. We'll go ahead and do our um, lateral lunges. So we'll lunge to the side, come back to neutral. Go to the other side, come back. Careful of what our knee is doing. Standing nice and tall. This helps get our inner thigh muscles, as well as some other leg muscles. Everyone's doing so great today. Keep up the good work. Three, two, and one. We'll go ahead and do our squat and 
will be kicking back this time. We're getting, we're including our glutes just a little bit more this time. Still good posture, breathing throughout this. So we're gonna do our single leg RDLs. So this will take a little bit of balancing. We'll go down and come back up. If you're having trouble balancing for these, just go ahead and uh, focus on a spot. Grab an arm of a chair. We don't want to, we want to try to keep our knees straight as much as it can. So just go as far down as you can. If you can't go quite as far, that's okay. Just do the best you can. Three, two, and one. Switch to our next leg. Same thing. We want to be breathing. Coming back to neutral, focusing on that hamstring. Don't so far back as you're going down. And keep our necks even with our spine as we're bending down. Three, two, and one. So we'll go ahead and do our calf raises. Shoulder width apart, a little up on our toes, slowly lower down. Nice, good posture, breathing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do one whole set of those standing exercises again, and then we're gonna be moving to our lying, our floor exercises. Three, two, and one. We'll go ahead and start out with our squat and forward kick. This takes a little bit of balance as well. Everyone's doing so great today. I'm glad you're doing this workout with me. Three, two, and one. Do our forward lunges. I'll get sideways a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Nice tall chest. Focusing on that breathing. Focus on that knee, not going over those toes. Three two, and one. Go ahead and do our lateral lunges. So wider stance, coming back to neutral, and go into our other leg. Still be careful of that knee. We don't want it to go sideways. We want it to be stable. We want to be sitting back like we're sitting in a chair. Keep up the good work, you can do this. Three, two, and one. Go ahead and do our, our squatting with our backward kick. Really engage those glutes as we're kicking back. Make sure we're not um, Rounding our back as we're kicking back, because we really want that glute to do that, its job. Three, two, and one. 
one. So go ahead and do our single leg RDLs. So keep balancing, bending down, coming right back up. You need to put your arms out just a little farther just to help with balancing. That's great as well. Three, two, and one. Next leg. Watch our backs. Move our knee. Three, two, and one. So we'll do our calf raises. And then we'll be getting to the floor. So up on our toes, slowly lower down. Three, two, and one. So we'll get down to the floor into a sideline position. And we'll be going having our leg go up, coming slowly lower down. We want the rest of our body to be relaxed and just focus on getting our ad adductors working. This needs to be slow and controlled. Three, two, and one. So what we'll do is we'll cross the top leg over the other leg, and this bottom leg will be working now. We'll bring that leg up towards the sky, slowly lowering back down. Really focus on a slow and controlled up towards the sky, and then slowly lowering back down. Three, two, and one. We'll go ahead and roll to our other side. I'll face you all so you can see what I'm doing. So we'll go ahead and have our other leg be going up towards the sky. Same as before, slow and controlled, focusing on those outer leg muscles. Three, two, and one. Go ahead and cross that over the top of our under leg. Getting those inner thigh muscles. Slow and controlled. Make sure we're breathing. Three, two, one. We'll roll onto our backs. When we're on our backs, we're going to have one knee bent, one leg out straight. We'll bring it up towards the sky and slowly lower down. We want to get our hip flexor muscles. Slow and control just like before. We can also focus on smushing our back against the floor just to get our transverse abdominis engaged during this exercise. Three, two, and one. Go ahead and switch to our next leg. Slow and controlled. Still focusing on squishing your back against the floor. Three, two, and one. We'll bring our le that leg to the ground and we're going to do our glute bridge. So up towards the sky, bring those hips up and we'll lower down. This gets our glutes, our hamstrings, and our rector spinae. If we want to increase intensity for this one, we can go ahead and straighten a leg out as we're going up. Really engage that core as well. Three, two, and one. So our, our next exercise 
It's going to be our butterfly. So we'll bring our feet together and we'll go up towards the sky, come back down. We want our legs to, our knees to come out into like a butterfly position. Um, really engaging our um, inner thigh muscles. If we want to increase intensity, we can go ahead and do a slower, um, go slower up and slower on the way down. Three, two, and one. Go ahead and get to our side lying position again. And we're going to do our leg raises. Everyone's doing so great. Keep up the good work. I hope you're getting a good workout in today. Three, two, and one. Go ahead and bring that leg up over the top. We'll bring the other, the underneath leg up towards the sky. Breathing in and out. Three, two, and one. Flip to our other side. Legs coming up, slow and controlled. Engaging those outer leg muscles. Three, two, one. All right, over the top, do underneath leg. You can do this. Three, two, and one. Roll to our backs. We'll do our straight leg raise. Still smushing that back against the floor. You can't go up quite as far, that is okay. You can just do as far up as you can. Three, two, and one. Go ahead and do our next leg. Keep swishing that back. We want to get a little core in with this hip flexor. If you can put your hands behind your back, that means you're not squishing as hard. You need to squish so that it's hard to put your hands in. Three, two, and one. Bring that leg to the ground. We'll do our bridging. Squeeze at the top, slowly lower. Still engaging that core. Always have the option of increasing intensity by straightening one leg out. Three, two, one. And then we'll go ahead and do our butterfly. Keep up the good work, everyone. Slow and controlled. Really engaging those muscles. Keep focusing on switching that back, engaging that core. These are great stabilizing exercises. Three, two, and one. Go ahead and put our legs on the ground. We're gonna go right into our core exercises. So we can put our hands behind our head for just a little bit of support. We're going to Raise up and then slowly lower down in a crunch. We're engaging our rectus abdominis and getting a little bit of um, transverse abdominis, which is a little bit hard to get sometimes. So we're breathing. Three two, and one. 
We'll go ahead and go right into our bicycles. Hands still behind our head. We'll raise opposite knee, touch to elbow, opposite, and then we'll go to our next leg. This is also slow and controlled, still getting our rectus abdominis, but also engaging a little bit our obliques. Make sure we're breathing through this. Slow and controlled breaths. Great job, everybody. Keep going strong. Three, two, and one. Our next exercise is going to get a little bit more of our obliques. So we have our legs up like this. Roll into the side. Rolling to our other side. This is slow and controlled. Our arms are out to the sides just to stabilize us just a little bit so we can rotate from side to side. Keep it up. Three, two, and one. So our next exercise, we'll be um, going ahead and doing our um, so we'll be having our legs on the ground and we're going to press our, just like before, press our um, back against the floor to get our transverse abdominis. This is going to be a breathing exercise, but we also want to engage our Rectus abdominis. Really engaging our core. Squeeze it against the floor. Check yourself by putting your hands up against the floor. Three, two, and one. We'll go ahead and get into a sitting position. We're gonna be sitting here, um, focusing on engaging our, um, our core, and we also want to focus on keeping good posture. Breathe throughout this. Three, two, one. Great job. We'll go back down to the ground. We're going to do our, um, our crunches. So hands behind your head, slowly up, going up towards the sky, lowering back down. Just go at your own pace. Do as many as you can. Let's finish this workout strong. We just have this, these set of exercises left and then we'll be moving to our cool down. Three, two, one. Our next exercise is going to be our, um, our bicycles. So go ahead and keep our hands behind our heads and we'll going keep breathing we want good form slow and controlled touching our knee to our elbow keep going everyone you got this three two and one we'll keep our arms out to the sides and we're going from side to side. Really engaging our obliques. Just go as far as you can for this. So proud of you for all doing this workout. Three, two, and one, we'll go to our uh, transverse abdominis. So smushing that back against the floor, engaging our breathing, having good posture. Three, two, and one. We'll get to our sitting position to our, do our V-sit. Um, we're feeling our hip flexors too much. We can straighten out our legs a little bit to lighten the load on our um, our hip flexors. 
or if we want to increase intensity, we can put our legs up towards the sky a little bit. Breathing in and out, really engaging that core, squeeze it tight, good posture, focus on breathing. Three, two, and one. So go right into the cool down. We'll have one leg out in front of us, and we'll have our other leg crossed over the top, and we'll be um, uh, rotating our trunk. Good breaths in and out for this. Three, two, and one. We'll go ahead and move to our other leg. This really gets our, um, our oblique muscles. And also a little bit of our back, I feel, in there. Keep breathing. Three, two, and one. We'll do our figure four stretch. So we'll be sitting position, cross one leg over the top, hold ourselves behind us. If we know that decrease the intensity of the stretch, we can just um, straighten out our underneath leg just a little bit more. Nice tall chest, focusing on straight back. Breathing in and out. Three, two, and one. We're going to switch to our next leg. Still breaths in and out. Good posture with those shoulders. We could just train ourselves to have really good posture um, even throughout the day. Three, two, and one. We'll go ahead and uh, straighten one leg out to stretch our hamstrings. Just go as far as you can for this stretch. Just reach for your toes. Go ahead and move to our next leg. When we breathe in and breathe out, maybe we can get just a little bit farther. Just go as far as you can. You can bend your head a little bit to try to bring that foot a little closer. Three, two, and one. We'll do our... Um, butterfly stretch. So bring our soles of our feet together. We'll have our um, legs out in a butterfly and nice and tall. Trying to get our um, inner thigh muscles. Three, two, and one. We'll go ahead and get onto our stomachs. And what we'll be doing is we're doing a quad stretch. So we'll bring one foot up towards us, holding that foot, getting our um, quad stretched out. We wanna be careful of this, making sure our knee is even with our hips, not out to one side, or not in, facing inward. Two, one. Go ahead and do our next leg. Getting a good stretch in. We have one more stretch for today after this one, and then we'll call the workout done. Three, two, and one. We'll go ahead and go up onto our um, arms. Just focusing on stretching our core and our back. Breathing in and out. Three, two, and one. 
Great job, everyone. So glad you could do this workout today.